Yeah, so typically, like with a steam engine like this, you, you fire it up with wood. We start it on wood, and you get a good hot fire, and then when you're actually going to go plow or, or run a sawmill or put a load on it, then we usually switch it over to coal. And, and the advantage with coal is it's, it burns hotter, so you get more, you get more heat. And, and then, of course, the boiler is full of water, about two-thirds water, and then the, the top third is steam capacity. And so inside your, inside your boiler, you've got your fire, which is either the wood or the coal, heating water, which converts to steam, and then the steam powers the engine. And this engine runs 185 pounds of steam pressure, which is a little bit more than the average steam engine's about 150 pounds, but this one had a, ran a little bit higher pressure. These? Uh, so our steering is this lever right here, um, and it's all powered steering. So, so with uh, right now we only have the one speed gear in it. There are two, it does have two speeds. So if it would have that second speed, it could go up to five and a half miles an hour. Yep. So this engine was designed for a road locomotive. So it's it's about a third or twice as big as all the typical agricultural tractors that were made at that time, and so everything. Everything on it is is about a third or or twice as big. So there's about 250 unique part numbers, so different different parts to make, and about 180 of those are castings. And then there's about five six hundred parts all together. So the largest, the heaviest part on it was the the flywheel. So we poured that at, at our foundry, and that that weighs 1,500. Yeah, that weighs. Empty empty the machine is 31 ton and fully loaded with wood and, or with all the coal and water that the tank capacity has it's 75,000 pounds yeah so the the iron that we cast most of the parts on this engine are cast from ductile iron which is a it's a nodular iron which it gives it more the longevity and flexibility and it's more more similar to steel than cast iron it's a lot stronger so the castings that we used would be probably three or four times stronger than what they used in 1905, or what they had for iron quality in 1905, because they just had regular gray iron, and ductile iron wasn't invented until the 60s. So that gave us a big advantage being able to use ductile iron because we have so much more strength and and uh, and, and flexibility in, in the iron versus the, the more brittle, lower strength iron that they were originally designed with. So in 1905, when they designed it, they called it a road locomotive and it was designed for doing heavy freighting like like in mines or or heavy freighting of grain to to the railway and stuff like that and then the engineers the, when they were out in the field besides the fact they had some initial problems with it you know on the design which which they could have, they could have taken care of that but really they the engineers realized there wasn't a market for what they were trying to do by the time they got the engine redesigned to to function you know completely what they it was designed for then they realized that the, the railroad was expanding and putting track everywhere and, and going to be doing all the heavy freighting so it didn't really make sense to have such a, a massive engine for doing that freighting work